Who remembers this case? This patient was referred to me for endodontic retreatment of tooth number nine. And uh, I posted it and asked you guys' opinion about what's going on with the tooth. The patient is 41 years old now. When she was 10 years old, she traumatized her front teeth and they did root canals for her. So about 30 years ago when she traumatized these teeth and they did root canals for her. A few days ago, she noticed this, what she called a pimple, a pimple on her gum right there. That's a sinus tract, of course. And uh, that's the tooth right here. And that's the sinus tract right there. So I asked you guys, I said, uh, what's going on with this tooth? Because, take a look. There is no periapical relucency. As you can see, there is not. There is no periapical relucency. So, what does that sinus tract drain? And that was the question that I put out there. I got a few correct responses. So take a look here, right there, you can see that that is inflammatory root resorption. That, as I'm sure you should know, if you don't know, it, it's the likelihood of it happening is um, high uh, when it comes to traumatized teeth. So you need to discuss that with the patient before you do anything. But that's what's going on here. So secondary infection due to that root resorption there, inflammatory root resorption there, and you can see the bony changes right there as well. So we went ahead and traced it, and you can see it's going to exactly where we thought it would go, where we thought the problem was, we believed the problem was, and as you can see, my gutta percha tracer is going to that location right there. So that sinus tract is draining this, this area here. That's, again, that's another angulation, and you can see where that tracer is going, is going to where the inflammatory root resorption and uh, secondary infection is because of the inflammatory resorption presence of microorganisms. Okay, so we discussed options with the patient. We can try to see if we can save this tooth for you. We can go ahead and redo the root canal, remove all of this gutter percha here. That, as you can see, there's tons of it. And uh, then fill the whole canal with MTA and see what happens. No promise or guarantees, we'll do our best. And only time will tell. Sometimes the body doesn't stop rejecting the tooth, just constantly the immune system just eats away at the tooth, only time will tell. And sometimes uh, we can fool the immune system into believing again that this is, this is a patient's tooth by removing the ag agitator and patching everything up and cleaning out the, the infection. So we'll see or gave the patient the option of extraction and a dental implant. Patient said, let's go ahead and try to see if we can save the tooth. Nothing can replace my own natural tooth. So we said, okay, and that's what we did today. And here's the post-op. We spent a lot of time cleaning out all of that GP. Just like this tooth, tooth number nine had a lot of GP, I mean, they really shouldn't have used GP, but we're talking 30 some years ago. So very likely that's all, that's all they had back then. But yes, so we went ahead and spent a lot of time cleaning out, removing all the gutta percha, cleaning out and irrigating the heck out of this area right there. And uh, there was a lot of bleeding from the outside to the inside of the canal uh, from that defect right there, that was a big, big defect right there on the distal, distal wall of the root of the tooth, tooth number nine there. We cleaned everything out really well, 
and then we went ahead and obturated the entire canal with MTA so this is white MTA all the way to here went ahead and temporized the tooth and referred the patient back to her dentist um, hopefully that labial sinus tract will go away but again only time will tell no promise or guarantees the patient is supposed to come back in a few months for a post-op. If she shows up, hopefully she'll show up, then uh, then I will post a video on the the outcome of the treatment today. But everything went really well. I, you can see I actually filled some of these uh, narrow, narrow canals, narrow spaces, narrow corridors even with with MTA. But yeah, we spent a lot of time just cleaning out all that gutter percha and then just cleaning the heck out of that area on the canal. Excellent. We'll see. We'll, I'll keep you posted. And this is another angulation. Again, you can see my MTA out this way and this is all MTA.